Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to Friends in 2. We're continuing down the revolutionary route, so let's get right into it, shall we? Let's read the bullet journal. Because the bullet journal will actually help us get to the revolutionary route. Can't resist. Gotta take a little peek. But. Any living vision? One is a really good friend. Really good friends. You ever like like someone and just not know how to tell them? Malik can wait. You sure you can find another time to sneak out and talk to him? You open the little black book to a random page in the middle. It's st uh, st Stenia's weekly agenda. She, she got gratitude and habit trackers and everything. It looks like some of the pages blocked out with pink tape. I wonder if it was Selsa who put it there. Selsa. You could bet your. You could check out some of these sections out for more information. Your attorney might be spotty, but you can definitely still read it. To do list. Looks like the usual stuff laundry, shopping, emails. I wish you could. You knew what was under the tapes, though. Also, you wonder what tenure. Tenure in the could be. Go look at me. Habit tracker. Looks like somebody was into health and fitness too, or at least tried to be. Only enough water for four out of the week, four days out of the week. She's gotta hydrate better. Gratitude journal. Grateful for my good friends and comrades who stand by each other. Oh, that's so nice. Damn, busy, busy week. A lot goes into trial prep for an auditory exercise side of things, but you're so tempted to peel up that tape to find out what the part under is, but you don't want to risk destroying Celsa's heirloom. What did Stenia has to leave so early on Wednesday? What was happening on Sunday that she had to bring leftovers too? What's the calendar? 14 pedigree. 14th pedigree, huh? You always assumed that her new months would have actual names, but it's just like if you call it July month 7. Oh, Stenia's Wiggling Day was, uh, was this month, and she's got a whole week off for work for something called HIC Hatch Week? Lucky. Wonder if what AFJC is, but they seem to meet pretty regularly. A boot pay checklist, rent, electric, water, insurance. The tape is starting to peel a bit off this one. Looks like it says dues. Was Stenia Stenny on a union? Is that why this one's covered up? Are unions even... Demonetized on the turning like they are in America? It's a candle spread from before. Yes, go ahead, Syrian candle, to remember the dead. Looks like Celsa's been adding her own notes to the spread. Is any old candle okay? Send her on to try trybsecretcandle.com. Your Antarium may be a little rusty, but you. You usually can read it just fine. You have no clue what this says. It looks like Celsa didn't know either. She left a note to translate it later. Dates. This must be a list of people Celsa wanted to make sure she mourned every year. Wow, she knew a lot of dead people. Looks like Celsa had her own date. Tw 24th of 8th pedigree. Mom. Aww. Holy heck, are these plans for an anti-empire protest? Was Celsa and Celsa a protest leader? This can't be right. Celsa would never be proud of being able, being a, related to a protest leader. Then again, that would explain the tape. Gotta take a look, a closer look at this. Looks like she's protecting, uh, protesting extension recruitment. You will surround the recruitment center and block all entrances. Knowing how things are now, you can't. Don't think it work though. But looks like the protest has got breakfast at least. Protest supplies. Let's see, food, water, first aid kit. This looks like pretty standard. Eye protection, body armor, horn prosthetics? Looks pretty intense. Frequency disruptors? Heck, what was Salsa's ancestors up against? They can't arrest us all. You sure hope they didn't. Then again, knowing the Empire, they probably did way worse than just arrest the protesters. Looks like they're marching up pretty close to a joint maintenance facility, so you're guessing this event probably didn't end well. This is a hand-drawn map, that's so cool. What's the color, c with the color-coded routes and everything? I'm guessing this is probably photocopied and passed around to prosecutors you know, protest beforehand. Maybe you should just do the same map over and over again. Nah, probably way too much work. Then again, you see how much Tessera wears herself out for the sake of revolution. 
What's saying self same since so I would have done the same? Yeah, that looks like it's everything. Snooping is interrupted by a turn on the front door handle. Quickly close the book and check it out the other side of the couch. Clearly you didn't check it fast enough because Selsa catches you in the act. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, you're just... That's an ancestral heirloom! You can't just toss it around like that! Selsa touches the book and starts flipping through the pages, making sure none of them are damaged. She starts to relax once she sees no tears or wrinkles, but tenses up again once she notices the washi tape that's used to bind the pages together. So... You saw. You, you don't know what she's talking about. The taped up section. You saw Stenya's other work. Just a little bit. <sighs> Fine, you're sorry for snooping. You didn't, you know it was rude. Yes, that was rather rude. But that's not what I care about right now. You have to promise me. You won't tell a single person about what you saw in that journal. You promise? You don't understand what she's working so hard at, but uh, what to uh, wait wait for a second there. You promise you don't understand what she sees she worked up about though. Her ancestors sound like a badass. It doesn't matter what she sounds like to you. To the Empire, she sounds like a criminal. Just owning this journal is a colourable offense. I tried so hard to cover up any of Stenya's misdeeds. But I should have known better. And just thrown the thing away when I got it. Selsa sits down on the couch next to you and runs her hands through her hair. Why did you keep the book in the first place? You know she's surprised. You know she's on the more pro empire side of things. You were a little surprised that she's uh, she of all people would be would keep protest maps around. I just I don't know. It called to me. Is that a stupid thing to say? Not at all. I looked at that journal and saw something more than what I thought I was. Until I found Stenya's journal, I was just an order terrorizer. Just another teal blood. Not that I'm not grateful for my place in the system, it's just... No, you understand. Um, uh, no, you understand. It's important to have copies and work life balance. You're guessing she's not totally allowed to have that up here, is she? Oh, definitely not. We weren't allowed that much back on planet, either. I really do regret spending so much time taking pretend clients outside of classes to practice for the real thing. The only thing I ever really had for myself was my workout routine. And as much as I love a good run, that can't be my whole personality, either. But then I found the journal, and it gave me something else I could be. Something else I already was. She's talking about the troll Judaism, right? Sells the nods. Reading Stenya's detailed descriptions of rituals taught me that I'm allowed to slow down. Allowed to take an evening to sit down and just be grateful that I'm alive. She looks at the Yatsuhitsu candle, still burning on the coffee table, barely making a dent in the wax. The Empire discourages us from thinking about the dead. Death happens so suddenly around here, and we're always taught to ignore it and let body disposal take care of it. I'm glad to know I'm part of a culture that allows me to remember the people I cared about. I completely understand. A town is a hard, cool place run by hard, cruel people. You don't know how anyone could blindly support this place. No offense. You quickly cover your tracks and remembering Celsa's loyalist attitude for the first time you met her. You think I like it here? Celsa throws her head back laughing. This whole time, I've been telling you I want to leave. Does that sound like something a loyalist would do? I guess not, you just... I'm not loyal. I'm just scared. Scared of losing what little I'm allowed to have. I understand why Stenya did what she did. Hell, I understand why Zizi does what she does. Does it? She never. Oh, don't look like that. She's not subtle about it. I might not know what she's doing for whatever rebellion she's part of, but she's definitely part of something. But I can never bring myself to put myself in that kind of danger. Salsa shows down with the books in her hands, flipping the cover open and close. <sighs> Maybe I should just burn this. 
I don't want to end up like she did, arrested at her final protest and tried and killed by her peers. Salsa tosses the book aside and shakes her head as if to shake the negative feeling away. Feelings away. That'll have to wait until later, though. I've got so much to catch up on because of this wedding. The head of Order Terrorizing did officially give me the weekend off. But I just know he's going to call soon to ask me where I was at last night's department meeting and why I haven't turned the work in yet. Sorry to leave you on such a sour note, but the work is never done. Ah, uh, Selsa. She turns and struts into the rest flock as if nothing just happened. The last moment before disappearing behind the door, she turns to you with a concerned look in her eyes once more. You do promise you won't tell anyone what you saw, right? Promise, you never tell soul. Just as Celsa slips into the room, the handle of the front door turns once more. Tessie assembles them, looking even more drained than she did earlier. You don't even remember seeing her leave in the apartment. She must have slipped out while you're absorbed in the journal. You give her a little wave, and Tessie responds with a pained exhale. She flops the arm on the couch next to you. What's up? Is everything okay? Do I look okay? Yeah, no, she didn't want me to. Doesn't. Did you just have a rough pale session with Daria or something? Tezzeret looks a little irritated. No. I just needed some alone time. Oh, well, maybe she needs a pale session then. You know, what she... part of I haven't seen Daria since Ascension do you not understand? Uh, she, you know she'll get out of this fresh. You just take time to talk to your feelings. And... I can't just go talk to her. I'll probably never talk to her again. Oh god, you thought of haven't seen Daria meant like she had not seen her in person. But why? She calls knowledge is fine. It's not like the institution blocks all communication. It's for the safety of the rebellion. When I ascended, I had to make a choice. I could either leave the rebellion forever and be a good little cog in the legal machine, but keep all my contacts from the planet, or I could become an indispensable part of the revolution, but never talk to anyone again. The choice was obvious. I thought I'd be fine. I'd only been Moirails with Daria for a sweep at that point, and it's not like I was dying without one before. And it was fine, at first. But the work up here gets so soul-crushing, and I can't really complain to Stells about it. She lives for bureaucracy. And just... <sighs> fuck, I miss her so much. Tessa's curls further into the couch, practically on the verge of tears. You reach out to put your hand on her shoulder, but she shrinks away. Guess she just needs a more long time. You apologize and make your way over to the kitchen area to give her some space. <sighs> Tezra is miserable up here. There's gotta be a way for her to leave the Institutia, even if it means leaving a rebellion behind. You hear a faint conversation coming from Celsa's bedroom door. She seems to be arguing with whatever supervisor she mentioned earlier. Despite her love of organization and bureaucracy, she's definitely not happy up here either. Both Tezra and Celsa are living a lie. They're suffering for it. You can't let them keep doing this. Whose illusion will we break? Stelsa's. For the revolution. You make your way to the bedroom door and give it a cautious nod. Come in! You enter and find Stelsa's hurriedly typing away at her desk. Desks. Desk littered with papers. I'm oh, so sorry you have to see me like this. I just got a call from my boss. I'm very behind and unfortunately I have very little time to talk. There's no way she could push your work back for a couple minutes, is there? Not a chance. Mr. Argent needs this paperwork before the evening shift begins, and I can't let him down. Well, what would happen if she didn't let him... Well, what would happen if she did let him down? So she shops her frantic typing to look at you. Why? That would cause complete and total chaos! If the paperwork isn't ready, then the next stage of trial prep can't commence. And if trial prep isn't going forward, it gets delayed and creates a clog in the legal machine, and we can't have that. When the higher-ups hear about who caused said clog, all fingers point to me, and I'll be put on a cull list for sure. It's best to just do what I'm told. Also, is that okay? Doesn't the fact that she can be put to death for not finishing paperwork on time make her angry? Well, yes, but emotions like that aren't very productive. But what if they could be productive? She could use the anger to do something powerful. She could use the anger to feel real change, just like Sonia Sun did. Sasa freezes and raises blown right I thought I told you to forget about what you read in that journal. 
feel so. Have you ever had a pair of feelings for someone you're not sure you know you're not sure knows you exist? Zipper great set by Chickpea this morning. Nope, you can't do that. This is part uh, part of Celsa's lineage, and you won't let her forget it. This woman, Celsa Myers, whose journal is helping her learn about who she is and could be, was an anti-emperor uh, anti protest organizer. This is not the kind of change that can be easily forgotten. Like I said before, if anyone ever finds out about where I come from, I could be culled on sight. We both need to pretend we never saw anything. And that sucks. Doesn't that make her angry? She needs to let herself rage. Celsa sighs and pictures a bridge of her nose. I'm not sure what you're trying to get me to do here. Sure, I could rage, but it would only get me cult. Yes, the system is flawed. Yes, I'm tired of constantly living in fear of my own past. But there's nothing that can be done about it. Of course there is. There's always a way to make change. How do you propose I use this anger to make real change? Preferably without facing the same horrible fate of my ancestor. You think about it for a moment. Join a rebel group. You know there are other people out there that are just as that are just as frustrated at their superiors as she is. They're there to protect each other. If she's really unhappy with the way things are on the Intitunia, there are people she can talk to about that. Are you suggesting I join? Sasa leans in close and whispers. A rebel group? Yeah, she doesn't even have to do anything dangerous. The first step toward ma making things a little better is connecting with the others who want to do the same. Are you insane? Do you know the kind of negative attention that would bring? Do you know how many sleepless days I've had worrying about ZZ and what would happen if whatever group she's a part of gets caught? I can't do it. It's just too dangerous. But think of the people you can meet. Things that you could finally feel comfortable talking about. What could I possibly need to talk about so much that it's worth risking my safety? Uh, Sasa mentioned earlier that she didn't want to mention the journal to anyone, and you know why now. But, if it's, but what if Sosa could find a community that, that she could trust wholeheartedly with this uh, that information? Think of all the things that she could learn about her own lineage. Sosa's eyes wider. That's not possible. There's nobody who I can trust to show the journal to. It was risky enough to show it to you, and I'm starting to really regret that decision. And even if I talk to a few people about it, what could they possibly do to help? There is no Alternian Jewish community anymore. None that she knows of, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. She's just not gonna find... She's not gonna find a community that's been heavily persecuted by the Empire by just floating around on Twitter. But you know people who can do some digging? Malik's hacking genius. You bet he would be able to find all kinds of information about Alternian Jewish communities. And those, and those traditional songs in the journal that she couldn't read? You're sure Tezra's old bandmates are a part of a rebellion? They'd totally be able to decipher the sheet music for her. Even without all that, wouldn't it be just nice to be able to talk through all this with new people while she learns about where she comes from? I suppose it would, wouldn't it? I've showed the journal to Zizi plenty. But she only knows as much about this as I do. Maybe a non-teal perspective really would help me learn more about Stenya. Exactly, that would be good for her. You start tugging on her. You start tugging on her. Sleeve. Stop. Oh. Right. You start tugging on your sleeve. Come on, you can know a great place where you can get in touch with some people, some helpful rebels, and you freeze in place and Salsa cleaves her head with a breath. This isn't right. I am where I am meant to be. My entire life's work has led up to my assignment on the Eustitia. It's such a privilege for me to be here. Why would I throw that away? Because... because she's unhappy? Isn't that enough of a reason to walk away from something? Because, honestly, that would suck. <laughs> Plenty of people are unhappy. Almost everyone I know is unhappy. That isn't enough of a reason to throw my safety and everything I've worked for in the garbage. Sasa rubs her temples and turns away. Damn, you thought you were so close to breaking through. I'll tell you what. Give me one good reason. One genuinely convincing reason why I should abandon the Eustitia and I'll go. You make Tezzerus happy. She knows about Tezzerus' involvement in the rebellion, right? Unfortunately, 
I've been trying to avoid the topic for years, but yes. Tezzeris has been trying to get her to join the conversation battle, right? Of course! She's left plenty of pamphlets laying haphazardly around the hive over the sweeps. They aren't bad ideas. I've never disagreed with her. I just think she's being reckless and unsafe. Can't you see how bad Tezzeris wants her to join in being reckless and unsafe? And can't you see how badly I want her to stop? Zizi has never been good at self-preservation. Her sleep schedule is atrocious. She forgot to eat throughout all of Tagora's wedding festivities. And ever since she swapped out water for coffee, I'm pretty sure she stopped peeing. <laughs> How am I supposed to trust her on such a dangerous choice? Yeah, I, d I d honestly, I don't blame you for thinking that. I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's in her blood. You reach out toward over to Salsa's desk and grab the bullet journal, flipping to the freshly retaped forbidden section. Once again, you break the seal, leaving Salsa to wince at your actions. You flip to the protest map thread. Salsa saw Maya Stenia, right? Even with all the illegal activity? Well, yes, but... She said so herself. That was the only reason she taped up the section was because she was scared someone would find out who she related to. But the protests themselves? That's not the problem, is it? Salsa shakes your head. The first time I saw the protest map, I was filled with an undeniable dread. But every time I've looked at it since, I've been more and more impressed. Organizing a protest must take an extreme level of management skill. And the fact that this was all done on paper is even more impressive. But what astounds me the most is the insurmountable courage this must have taken. She was brave enough to stand on the front lines and risk her life for something she believed in. I can't even muster the courage to ask Mr. Argent if I can implement a more efficient type of spreadsheet at work. Well, if Senya could have had that courage, why can't she? I'm a coward. Isn't that obvious? My whole life has been dedicated to doing exactly what was expected of me, just for a guarantee of safety. And more and more, it feels like that's not a guarantee anymore. The last shred of Sosa's professional demeanor snaps and she stomps over. Rush over and put your hands on her. If she's willing to take a little leap, just a tiny step in the direction of danger, she'll be surprised just how courageous she can be. And most importantly, she'll be able to be herself for once. Not the organization machine she was trained to be, but the real Salsa says you at. Salsa strains up and takes a breath. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. Shakes a journal from your hand, stands up and does a little shake to shrug off the negative emotions before opening the bedroom door. The two of you step out of the bedroom to find Tezra sprawled out on the couch. Mm. Wish I could just tell her. Zizi, we need to talk. Fuck. I know this is something I've avoided talking about for a while. It's pretty far out of my comfort zone. But I can't kid myself any longer. Please don't draw it out like this. Just say it. You're leaving me for the new timeline. I want to join the rebellion. What? I know you're part of some rebel group. I don't know what you do or how involved you are. But I want to join you. Tezzo turns to you, mouth agape. What did you say to her? You shrug. All he did was point out some stuff in her journal, and the rest fell into place. Her journal? What was that? My ancestor was a protest leader. She documented everything she did, including the protests. I tried to cover it up, just in case someone tried to connect me to her crimes, but this one here really is quite the detective. Tesla hands Tezra the book, untaped pages wide open. Te Tezra f flips through a couple of them delicately. Your ancestor was the Scrivener. The what? Tesla looks just as confused as you do. Tezra is almost bouncing with excitement. The Scrivener! She was the leader of a brief revolutionary movement based around protesting forced ascension. It was snuffed out really quickly, so there's not that much info about it. But your ancestor was so thorough with documenting everything that I found a couple of her protest guides in my research. Nothing this complete, though. You know things about Stenia that I don't? You need to tell me everything! I've tried to look her up in Ledger's Corpus records before, but they've basically wiped her from history. The only thing I could find about her is that she was eventually arrested, 
and tried by some legislator known as the Diligent. Yup, the Diligent, otherwise known as Tenia Entek. What? Your... my... what? There's a reason I was never into ancestor worship. Wow, there's some crazy feet craft going on here. Watch as Salsa stun stammers into laughter. The two of them make their way over to the couch and flip through a few more pages. I together. still can't believe I'm doing this. How are we even going to get off the Eustacia in the first place? Uh, can't believe it. I promise I'll always stick by you in just minutes. Talk to you local recruiters about serving vampires. Mandatory. Don't worry, I've got this all figured out. Believe me, I've got like a dozen escape plans lying around here. This will be easy. We just gotta join Tagora when he makes his way back to Gallic's ship. We'll wait there until Malik can send us transport down to Alternia. Then we can hide out in Everdim or something, or maybe one of the caverns. Says her refuses, realizing smacking in the Holy fuck. I'm gonna get to see Daria again. Well, if we do hide in the caverns, I suppose. Uh, no, you don't understand. I haven't so much as texted Daria since Ascension. It's been a sweep and a half. Tizzer's envelops Stelz in the heart. Thank you so much. Stelza squeezes back and looks expectantly at you. Well, since you were so adamant on me joining the rebellion, I assume you'll be joining us too? No, unfortunately, you still have some more friends to save. Actually, does she have any idea how you can get to off of it? Situation? There's a line of escape pods by the docking bay we came in on. You should be able to find your way there, no problem. I don't know how about no problem, but you'll, you'll try your best. You might want to hurry though. Work starts in a couple hours, and you don't want to risk getting caught. Oh crap, I guess it's goodbye for now. You hope you see them again before leaving Eternia for good. You give, give them a final wave before he, you slip out the door. You can only hear them flipping through the journal again as you leave. Revolution! Oh, it's adorable. Thinly veiled secrets. Discover the sheer cause. Oh, 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 Save my progress so far. And with that, I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. May the stars forever guide your path, forever it might lead you into the future. Goodbye, everybody.